In this video, we're going to use FileZilla to make a secure connection to our host server. Now, the obvious reason to use a secure connection in transferring files to and from your computer and server is to help prevent the bad people from accessing your files. Now, as soon as you see just how easy it is to connect securely and your hosting service is set up for secure transfers, then I frankly don't see any reason why you would want to transfer your files any other way. Okay, let's go ahead and open up FileZilla and grab the login details that was sent to us from our hosting company. Now, you can do this one of two ways, either hooking up through the Quick Connect bar or through Site Manager. In Site Manager, you can access that, by the way, by clicking on the File option in the menu and then clicking on Site Manager. And here, you would just want to click on New Site and set this one up for Secure or name it whatever you want. And I'm going to name it Secure Demo. Then just click anywhere in this box here to deselect it. And then over here in the host section, and this holds true if you're going to be using the quick connect bar here, but in the host section, if you are given, say, FTP dot or, or www dot in the host name, for example, this was given to me by my hosting company. In this case, if we're going to be connecting securely, you want to exclude that prefix because FileZilla will fill it in for you. Now then at this point, you want to go ahead and put in port 22, whereas before, if we're using the normal protocol, then you, can, then you can leave that blank or just put in 21. But in this case, we're going to put in 22. And under protocol, you want to select the SFTP. And then the rest of this is just as it would be normally. Cl select normal for login type, put in the username and password, and then any notes down here that you might want to put in if you want to. And then click on connect. And up here, you'll see the progress if you're going to connect or not. And as you can see here, we are now securely connected. So really, there's not much difference in the connection process of the secure method versus the non-secure method. So as I said, why would you want to do it unsecured if the process is basically the same? And that's going to bring us to the end of this video on making a secure connection with FileZilla. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.